First of all, I apologize for the noise in the background. I got a bunch of my servers running. So what I, we're looking at here is a pick and place machine. So I've showed you videos of different things I've done. This machine is using a smoothie board, CNC controller board, um, using ethernet as well. Really nice little board. This machine here, um, I actually, this is a, a machine that I built with a 3D printer, other than the base and the rails. I bought the base at a flea market. For, for, um, it had like a, a, it was a copier for DVDs back in the day. So I took all that up and repurposed, believe it or not, I repurposed some of the stuff. The vacuum pump that runs the pick in place right here. See it's spring loaded the pick in place. So it picks up the components as you can see over here. I'll have to link, see if I can find some links to some videos. Those are LEDs that you'll see on this little board here that I'm building for uh, IoT hacking or pen testing rather, excuse me. Um, but I designed all of this in Bobcat. Um, all this was done. I bought the rails, obviously. Some of the stuff I had laying around. I actually took apart and got some parts. I had a, um, a maker bot, um, similar to the one in the background, that I got for, for parts. So I took some of the rails out of that and repurposed the rails from, for one of the axes, as you can see. Um, this machine is really cool. It uses a camera here. This is um, the software is uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the software it's because it's been a year since I finished it. I haven't had time to get back to it but it does work really cool so what it does is it picks up a component I'll just cycle it over here I hope I don't mess up the controller it'll come down and it uses the vacuum off the tip right here and there's a little camera in front of it and it'll pick the part up out of the tray then it has like a little ridge right here and it'll actually forward the part forward to the next spot so it's actually really cool. So it checks the part. It actually, once it does that, it's not a good idea to do what I'm doing, guys. It'll actually bring it up to this camera right here. Then that motor actually rotates. I don't know if you can see that or not. Sorry, I'm bouncing around. But it'll actually center the part on a fiduciary mark that is actually on the board somewhere. So it'll be, I think, three or four on the board. So that nozzle will actually time itself. The setup is actually really complicated to get it you know, dead accurate. Um, then that camera there checks the part to make sure it's oriented correctly to the board. Then what you would do is you would actually take, the machine will actually take, using vacuum, it'll come over to the board, it'll set the chip, um, um, SMD component on the board into the solder puddle that you would have put on there from, it'll be like, the solder will be like almost like a wet, like a gel be a paste. You'll use a stencil to put it on there. This particular board I bought online. I bought a bunch of blank boards. Well, let's see blank. I think I got four or five. I can't remember the company. They do a beautiful job um, with their boards. I think they were like 10 or 12 dollars a piece. Pretty good deal. Um, but anyways, that's my J-Tagulator. And I talked to Joe Legrand. He actually was super helpful. Um, I sent him a couple of emails and he um, put me in the right direction for getting all of the BOM, uh, uh, BOM, uh, BOM uh, bill of materials files to build this. So I thought it was pretty cool. Obviously I did a lot of 3D printing when I designed this. I used Bobcad. I uh, probably would use Bobcad again. Great little program. I just, it doesn't play well on my system. I'm switched over to Fusion, 3, uh, Fusion 360. Um, a little bit of a learning curve, but I'm having a lot of fun getting there. Seems to be a lot easier to use than the Bobcad. I've been using Bobcat for about, I don't know, 10 or 11 years. I love Bobcat. Just, it, it just doesn't work for my needs anymore. But um, These trays, you can get these trays, these SMB trays, for I think 10 or 15 bucks on eBay. Um, I'm trying to think. Just some RoboTrack that I had left over. Stepper motors I had left from another printer I'd taken apart. Um, pretty cool little, little project. Actually, in the vacuum pump underneath it, I actually repurposed in the solenoid control and everything from that. There's a lot of stuff that I repurposed from the machine that this was on initially. But I would like to, one of the reasons I'm doing the stuff you see in my shop is, one of the reasons is I want to take these that I've done in PLA and I want to make them out of aluminum because um, a machine like this, here's one of the problems with doing it 
with a 3D printer. As you can tell, these traces are really small, right? And the part has to be absolutely perfect. And it has to hold less than a half a thousandth of resolution. A half a thousandth. And that's a lot on this machine. And using, using PLA, hey, that's great. Um, as long as it homes every time, right? So that's the cool thing about it homing is it resets, it resets at zero. So, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you behind it. Um, just some old cheap infrared ovens I got on Amazon, eBay. For once the board is done, what you do is you actually take the board and have magnets on it. And with the solder, use a solder mask or solder stencil. Once the board's been populated, you gently bring your oven up and you ramp it up kind of like your, um, you do metal when you're heat treating metal. You put it in the oven and it has a soak cycle after it heats it. It's actually really cool. And the flux, even if you're off just a little bit, as long as you're close, it'll actually cause the part to float in over the, the component. So I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. I know a lot of people heard me talk about it, friends and, and people, students and stuff. So I figured, hey, I'd take an opportunity and share it. Um, my, my lab's a little messy, or else I'd show you the rest of the lab. But I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. Hope you liked it.